Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Deltarune. Now, this is a game by Toby Fox, and if you didn't know, Toby Fox was the creator of Undertale, which is obviously a very popular game with a big fan base. It's also a game I've only recently played for myself after waiting for a very long time to do so, and I really, really loved it. So, in today's video, we are going to be playing the follow up to Undertale. I don't know if it's a direct sequel or a prequel or just a sort of game that uses some of the same characters. I've tried to stay clear of spoilers for it, but I do know it's related in some ways, but it is Toby Fox's follow-up called Deltarune, which of course is an anagram for Undertale. But with that said guys, let's begin Deltarune and see what the story holds. Are you there? Are we connected? Excellent. This is very ominous. Truly excellent. Now, we may begin. So this is like a survey that we have to fill out at the start, I believe, guys. It says, first, you must create a vessel. Okay, select the head that you prefer. Okay, so this is cool. So this is very different to Undertale because we can actually create our own character. We've got all the head templates here, so... I'm going to go with this one. It looks kind of emo. It looks like me uh, several years ago in my emo phase. I'm going to go with that. And it says, select the torso that you would like. Okay. Um, let's go with that one. Bit of a jumper in case it gets cold. Select the legs that you prefer. Uh, they all look the same. I'm just going to go with these. It says, this is your body. Do you accept it? Uh, yeah, sure. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is your favorite food? Hmm, I kind of like salty and sweet stuff. Like if I ever get popcorn, I get the sweet and salty flavor. So I'm gonna just go with sweet, simple. Your favourite blood type? I've... That's a weird question. I don't know if I have a favourite blood type, but I think I'll go with AB, because isn't that a rare blood type? To be a bit different. What colour does it uh, like most? Blue is my favourite colour. Blue is actually 70% of the world's favourite colour as well. <laughs> so I'm uh, kind of boring on that regard. Please uh, give it a gift. Hmm... We should be going with Kindness if we want to do a pacifist run, surely, because I played Undertale pacifist. I haven't actually done the genocide run yet. So, I'll go with Kindness. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. <laughs> um, I'm hopeful. I've got hope. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure? Uh, sure. I don't know why it's asking me that. Maybe there's flashing lights in this game. Uh, name your vessel. Uh, I guess Mike is the best, best way to go about that one. Name it after myself. My Undertale character was called Mike. Here we go. And we called it Mike. And what about the creator? Oh, okay. So, I should have called it uh, the vessel or something else and myself, Mike. I'll just go with... I'll go with Super Horror Bro or SHB. Uh, for me, make it a bit meta. So, I'm a content creator. So, as a creator of this character, Mike, I will call myself Super Horror Bro. There you go. Super Horror Bro. Excellent. Truly excellent. Super Horror Bro. Thank you. For your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Oh. We got trolled. <laughs> your name is... Chris. Oh, and it's Toriel from Undertale. 
Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. Ah, it's nice to see Toriel in this game. I will wait outside for you, alright? Because I kind of felt sad at the end of Undertale. Um, okay, cool. So we're playing as Chris. A little bit of a different looking character from the human character in the first game. I wonder if this is like before Undertale when like monsters and humans were like living together. I don't know. Because it kind of seems like they're in just like the normal world, doesn't it? Um, It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. What's this thing? It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. That's weird. The drawer is mostly empty except for a very old school ID with an embarrassing haircut. It's a beautiful day outside. Hmm, okay. This kind of looks like the house a little bit from Undertale. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific re refutation. Uh, can snails help your garden? Uh, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. Sweet. And here's a little mirror with my reflection in it. It's only you. Okay. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. All right, let's go downstairs. Okay. Bathroom. You looked inside the sink, cupboards, there's a can of Ice E's Cool Boys body spray. Spray for the boys. <laughs> Flaming hot pizza flavour. It seems to be almost entirely full. Yeah, no one's going to be using that, I don't think. Maybe it was on sale or something. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo. And a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. Ugh, <laughs> that's Toriel's, I guess. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Again, that's Toriel's. There's some cinnamony batter cake on the stovetop. I wonder if it's picked that because of my like Undertale playthrough that I did recently where I picked cinnamon over butterscotch. Perhaps, I don't know. Trash can, somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. There's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. Let's call ourselves, see what happens. The phone is ringing, but you can't get it. You're already on the phone after all. I love a sense of humour in these games. It's chair. It's Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. Uh, chair, sorry. Nothing on the TV. Right, let's go then, guys. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it's a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Asriel visits us next week. Ah, oh, that's cool. Nice little Asriel reference. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Ah, oh, that's cool. So it does look like they're still in the human world at this point. They're definitely not under the ground in the caves, are they? I've seen some characters from Undertale there as well. Single parking space. Oh, getting the chills, the Undertale theme. So into the school we go. It's so strange. I don't know what this game is meant to be right now. Oh, it's so cute. See you later. Have a nice day. I'm going to school. Okay. Oh, there's Alfie's. So does everyone have a... Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month, uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Um, okay. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having a partner to partner with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Uh, okay. Taken? Oh, she doesn't want to be our partner. Who are we going to find? Does anyone want to be a partner here? Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with a light on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry, Birdil already asked me. But I could ask Miss Alfie's if we could make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Yeah, go on, ask. I'll 
team up as a threesome. Miss Alfie's, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No! I do not approve of this, abort. What? But, but Chris doesn't have a... Noelle? What were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Uh, actually, I just wanted to know if... Noelle, can you please speak up? Oh, school bully by the look of it. <laughs> it's, oh, it's a girl as well. Hi, Susie. thought that was a guy then. It's a big girl. Doesn't say anything. Am I late? Oh, n no. You're fine. W we were just uh, choosing partners for the next group project and... Uh, Susie, you're with Chris. Oh, great. We're with... Being paired up with the school bully. Great. The outsider. N now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Maybe she's just misunderstood, though. Who knows? Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and... It, you all know I can't start class without some. Okay. How about this? If no one speaks up... Everyone gets in trouble. Uh, anyone? Please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alfie's, why don't you, Susie and I... Oh, why don't Susie and I... Good idea, Noel. S Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go and get it for me? Whatever. And, Chris... Can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and uh, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Oh, man. This is what we get for coming into school late. This is why you should always try and turn up early. Because if you turn up late, you get noticed. You have to get made to do extra stuff. <laughs> She's eating the chalk. <laughs> I caught her eating the chalk. A bit weird. Chris, didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm, you can't even say. Chris? Oh, man. Bail, bail. Hey! Let me tell you a secret. Damn, we're getting beats. Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Ah, come on, Chris. Don't act so shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're going to pull the trigger, <sighs> why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? about losing your face. Oh no, look at her face there, man. Gonna bite us. Nah, good. Ooh, that was close. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. <laughs> That's a bit morbid, man. All right, let's get, uh, let's get this over with. We'll get some more chalk, mosey back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Oh, we didn't even get to answer, great. I didn't press a button then. Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. I wonder if that's like... I wonder if that's like um, Toby Fox sort of saying your choices in this game don't matter because I know this is like a demo or something. So maybe we shouldn't really worry about doing a pacifist run or something. I'm still going to try because I prefer playing pacifist to the like, genocide mode, but... I don't know if it's really going to matter or impact anything. It says, God, can you walk any slower or what? Now nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. It looks weird closet. 
It looks like a black hole or something. <laughs> Look at her face, she's like, um... Hey, Chris, is it me or... Is it really dark in there? Yeah, it's, um... It's not looking good. What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Yeah, you go first. You check in there first. Fine. If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. <laughs> See, she's a, w a wimp, really, too. Like, she acts tough, but... This does not look like a closet, guys. See, why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Hmm. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Yeah, this is weird. I reckon we go back, guys. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's uh, broken. There aren't any walls. <laughs> well, we've worked hard enough. If Alfie's wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Let's get out of here. Got a feeling, yeah. I was going to say, I got a feeling it's not going to let us. It says, what the... Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us... Oh. What is that? Are they paper or something? Is that paper? The floor, it's... Oh, it's like tiles, is it? Breaking away. We're falling. Are we falling into, like, the Undertale world now? Is that the twist of the game? Maybe the Undertale world before Undertale happened. Oh. I've got to say, like, the visuals look a lot better than Undertale. It's, like, the same style, but the animation and, like, the detail to everything is, like, a lot better. Um, the music's obviously on point so far. And it looks like we got a cloak on now, guys. Like, we're, like, a, got a superhero's cape on or something. Oh, I just brought up the menu. The menu's different to Undertale as well. It looks a lot more, like... It looks a lot more detailed. It looks... Level 1 human, body contains a human soul. Okay, so we're a human. We are a human. Okay, let's head on then. We're now trapped in the underworld. Oh, that looks like a uh, save point. At times you see it flickering, the light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and save. Okay, there we go, file saved. Let's go then, uh, down this spooky underground path. Whoa, those, what are those? <laughs> they look uh, a little questionable. I'm not going to say what I think they look like, but you can probably figure it out. Can we look in this hole? It's too dark to see anything. Okay. That looks like an eye there. Let's try slipping down this slope. Whee! That's fun. What's that? That looks like a... It kind of looks like a cloud, but because we're underground, I'm guessing it's like a pile of salt, maybe? Don't know why there's stuff coming out of it, but... what? That looks creepy. What is that? That looks like a cat face or something. It's too dark to see anything. Okay, there's something in this hole, though, guys, I think. There's something glowing inside. Take it. Yes. you got the glows hard. Okay. I don't know what a glows hard is. Should we check? A shimmering shard. Its use is unknown. Okay, so we'll just leave that then. Let's go this way. Oh, hello. They actually fire stuff at us. So we can get hit when we're not in battle by the look of it. Interesting. Another save point. You bathe your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away. Cool. Save it then, again. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Ah, so we've got like a ravine here. So... There's three sets of eyes. I'm guessing... Clicking on these closes, some of them. Yeah, here we go. It's like a diagram. So we have to get all these eyes to close in order to go across a gap by the look of it. Right. Nice. That's it. Sorry if I go quiet, guys. When there's a puzzle, I'm probably going to go quiet because I'm awful at multitasking. So if I ever go quiet, it's because I'm doing a puzzle, probably. 
Let's go down here then. Ooh, salt. Click on them. Oh, something just came out of it. That's creepy. There's like a shadow just came out of it. Can I climb this? Nope. Okay. Hey, but back off. Come any closer and I'll... That's Susie by the look of it. Got a different colour now though. Chris, phew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. Heh. <laughs> anyway, enough screwing around. We've got to find a way out of here. Hmm. Where is here anyway? Doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. Uh, okay. Lead the way, Chris. Fine. Oh my god, never mind. You walk way too slow. Wow, Moody. I don't think Moody's the word for that character, man. Susie's just constantly, like, stressed. Okay, what's this? Hey, Chris, there's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? I'm betting this is going to be an enemy. Yep. R run, Chris! Go! Where? Okay. Well, I recently got off a run doing Undertale the Askel boss, boss fight, so this should be uh, fairly easy after that. That did my head in. Uh, okay, yeah, this is fair enough. No hits taken yet. Keep going. Nice. Skills, guys. Absolute and utter skills. Way! Oh man, we gotta dodge these as well. That's cool. I like that. That's one thing I love about Undertale when I played that. It just kind of constantly kept me like, kind of guessing what was gonna happen next. It was so weird. Just throwing in new gameplay mechanics. So we're down at the bottom now. We're pretty much getting further and further from the surface, which is not good. Ooh, mystical. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. Like this one? Looks like a shop, but the door is locked and there's no one inside. Okay. It's locked. Alright, so it's not this one. I reckon it's... Ah, the castle at the top, maybe. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. I'll save it. And in we go. A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Just a fair enough question. Uh, welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. Looks like the boatman from Undertale, that character. Welcome, I'm the prince of the kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfil the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Ah, we could say no. Imagine if we just, if we just said, nah, man. Uh, I will listen to your story. Very well, then. Time to have some story time, guys. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope. It was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light. And it was a legend of dark. This is the legend of Deltarune. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror, and the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, 
three heroes appear at World's Edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Oh, so it's our three characters. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angel's heaven. Only then will balance be restored and save the land from destruction. Today the fountain of darkness, the geyser that gives this land form, stands tall at the centre of the kingdom. But recently another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Okay, that was a uh, lovely little story. Uplifting. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. It wasn't actually that long though, like, you know, compared to what some RPGs present in their cutscenes. I think uh, this game's quite uh, to the point. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of legend, that despite whatever enemies you may face, you have the same courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Uh, nah. <laughs> what? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got to be, you've got the wrong person. But Susie, without you, the world will... So what? If a world gets destroyed. It's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. She's like a real hard ass, isn't she, Susie? She doesn't care. Oh man, she's we upset her or him. Anyway, Chris. If you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm gonna find a new way out of here. Susie, wait. Oh what? <laughs> What just happened? Ho ho ho! The heroes are already running away, and they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of a month. Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy. You clowns want to steal our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Eh... Uh, don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I... I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm, nice plan, kid. R really Yeah, actually. Mind if we just use it on you instead? Oh, swapped it round, okay. Alright guys, so if we go to the, for the pacifist run, it looks like we've got fight, act, spare, defend. I don't know what defend is. Um, but we want to try and spare this guy, so let's go with act and we'll compliment him. You tell Lancey you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. Okay. Oh, but Susie just like actually goes for the attack. Oh, you make my feelings do wheelies. Sweet wheelies. Okay. Ah, uh, so it kind of mixes Undertale's combat system with like a sort of uh, turn-based classic RPG style game. Okay, I get the hang of this now. Uh, let's act again. Let's give him a warning this time. You tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. Ah, okay. So he's kind of helping him out. I don't know if we should have done that really. Whoa! Oh man, I got hit. Okay. Lancer's motorcycle is actually just a bike that's on fire. Okay. <laughs> he pretty wants to get off it then. Uh, I'll defend maybe. So what are you guys doing after this? Whoa. Should have gone up, not down there. Right. Uh, I guess I compliment him again. You try to compliment Lancer again, but he sees it as insincere. His attack power goes back up. Did you not realise I can mask my, uh, myself as steam levels? 
Oh. Oh man. I'm not doing well here. What? Wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. All right, you punkaroos. You had uh, you had the luck of the draw this time, but next time the losers will be you. Ha 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 ha. Losers. I gotta get home before dinner. All right. So I think we've won there, guys. You won. Uh, and you've got 40, I don't know what that says, Delta dollars or something, maybe? I don't know. Are you two okay? Uh, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am. Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, alright. Aw, oh, that's kind of cute. Hello everyone, I'm, uh, Ralsi. Chris, Susie. It's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become the great we're going to become great friends and best way to leave is east, right? Yes. That's where we'll Got it. Ah. Oh. Susie running off? See you at school, Chris. Yeah, she's just going. All right. Charming. Uh don't take any offense, Ralsey. <laughs> Ignore her. I suppose it's just for two of us then. Chris, I'm a prince, but I uh, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here my whole life for you two to arrive, so I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Sure, why not? Let's try to find Susie. She must be going to the southeast. Okay. You can lead the way, Chris. Alright, let's go. And head down and to the side. And on our way to meet Susie again. Oh, Chris, it's for training dummy I made. Ah, okay. We're going to learn how to fight properly then, I guess. Now seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Uh, yeah, go on. Okay, get ready, Chris. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul, the culmination of your being. Within it holds your will your compassion and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friends will lose HP. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So, please take care to avoid the enemy's attack. Ready? Let's try dodging. Okay guys, easy, easy, easy peasy there. Great job Chris, you're a natural. Oh, thank you very much. Anyway, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight, though fighting is unnecessary in this world. There's no harm in uh, a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. Okay, so just hit the dummy, I guess. Good job, Chris. By the way, you'll do more damage pressing Z when the cursor enters the box on the left. I know, I tried, but, you know, I failed. Anyway, he says, okay, let's try defending. Simply defend and the enemy's attack will hurt you less. Not only that, but you'll also gather TP. Watch the orange big bar on the left. I'll explain it next. Okay, so we need to defend. Let's do that. Great job, Chris. Now that we've gathered TP, how about spending that TP on one of my spells? Because you hit the enemy enough, it got tired. And now, if you use my pacify spell on it, it'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. Let's try spells. Okay, so let's try pacify the dummy. Ralsei cast pacify. Great Chris, we would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Acting through this, even the most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, uh, though it's just a dummy, why not give it a hug? Okay. Oh look, we can hug uh, Ralsei as well. Should we try that? Just for the lols. You hug Ralsei. Uh, Chris, um, I don't think this is what you're supposed to be doing. But you liked it anyway, didn't you? So it's fine. Everyone likes a hug. All right, let's hug the dummy next. You hug the dummy. Oh, that's great, Chris. Each time, uh, each enemy has different attacks that satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow, and when that happens, you can defeat it by sparing uh, by sparing it. If we spare all the enemies we meet, we'll never have to fight. That's the way I like to play this game. So let's spare him. Chris spared the dummy. Great job, Chris. 
battle or be the end in a real battle. I'm really happy uh, I had a chance to teach you, Chris. You won. There we go. Nice. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And uh, in case you ever need a refresher, I... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Press C to open the menu uh, and use it in your items. Okay, cool. Thanks. Let's go. Ooh, big ass door. Oh my, the great door is opened. No wonder Lance was able to come through. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favourable. Oh, I'm sorry, is that too much to ask? No, I can handle it. I'm going to try and do a pass, uh, pass this run. Sounds good to me, uh, Ralsei. Chris, I knew you were here over the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, all right? Yeah, we got a deal. Let's go into the breach. That looks like the Deltrune symbol on that door. It's also on his uh, rug in his room, wasn't it? Let's uh, save the game. With the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. The power of adventure shines within you. And I think there, guys, is a good place to end it for episode one of uh, the Deltarune playthrough. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it today, guys. Let me know if you want me to do a part two to this on the channel. If this video is successful, I'll do a part two, probably release it tomorrow or the next day. I will be playing through this anyway, but obviously I only want to upload the videos on the channel if you guys really want to see the uh, full game played on here. Uh, but that was uh, Deltarune, very interesting, seems to have the art style down and the music's definitely on point from Undertale, as is the humour and the creep factors there as well. I'm very interested to see where, where this story will go, so we'll keep playing it. Remember to give this video a like if you have enjoyed today's video guys, and of course subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one, and I will see you guys on the next one.